When we traveled in the desert, we had with us what was called the Aron. And on the sides of the Aron, there were rings. We would slide a pole through the rings, and it would appear as though we are picking up and lifting up the Aron. The Kohanim will come, and they will lift up the Aron. But the truth, it was really the Aron that was supporting them. As we know, the Torah supports us. So the Torah was picking them up, and they were flying like this. It was a great miracle. However, the Torah does tell us that when they settled and they had to place down the Aron, they were not allowed to take the poles out of the rings. You might say that the whole purpose of the poles is just so that we can lift up the Aron. Now the poles have no use. The, the Aron is resting. There is no need for the poles. Now we could take out the poles. But the Torah says, no, you have to keep the poles within the rings. Says the Aron Hai Makadosh. This is teaching us the lesson in the supporters of the Torah and the learners of the Torah. In this case, the learners of the Torah are represented by the Aron itself. That is the scholar. He has the Torah. But then there's a supporter of the Torah. Those are the poles. The poles are meant to carry the Torah. They're meant to lift the Torah. It is thanks to the supporters that the Torah scholars are able to learn. They're supporting them. They're providing them money so they can continue to have the peace of mind to continue to sit and learn. So the Torah goes along and he says, we're traveling together, we have the Torah, and we have the supporters of the the Torah. And you might say, look, the supporters of the Torah are carrying the Torah, which is true, they're helping them. But at some point, the Aron must come to rest. We take the Aron and we place it down to the ground. And now you might say, well, now it's time for the poles to go their separate ways. But the Torah says, no, no, the poles are staying with the Aron. Says the Orachayim, the poles which represent the supporters of the Torah are going to remain with the Torah scholars after 120 when the Torah scholar is put down and he's now ready to put, be put to rest and he's going now to Shemaim. Eventually, the Torah scholar is also going to go to Shemaim and you might say, well, they're going to go their separate ways. The Torah scholar is going to go his way and the supporter is going to go his way. But the Torah says, no, they're going to stick together. Which means that all the credit that the Torah scholar gets the supporter is going to get along with him. And wherever he's going to go to in Shemaim, the Torah scholar, the supporter is going to follow him there as well. And they're going to be sitting in the same shiur, and they're going to get the same portion. And therefore, the Torah teaches us that the supporters of the Torah should never be underestimated. We should see their value and understand it and notice it. We should be very grateful and appreciative towards them for supporting us, because at the end of the day, Hashem gives them the same credit as those who are learning Torah. Because they are supporting them.